The National Teachers Insurance Limited today opened its new staff accommodation complex, the Debs Village in Port Moresby, built at a cost of 1.1 million kina. Managing Director Deb Kumar De said accommodation has been a huge challenge for his employees, but he is happy they have achieved one of their goals through providing accommodation for more than 10 of their staff. Jacqueline Yala reports. The opening ceremony of the Debs Village Staff Accommodation Complex of the National Teachers Insurance Limited and its subsidiary Life Insurance Corporation Limited took place today in Port Moresby. The ceremony was attended by representatives from Public Service Union and other organizations that have insurance with them. In his keynote address, the NTL LIC Managing Director Deb Kumar D says the company has seen the needs of its staff where accommodation is a prevalent issue. If the company does not recognize the work of all staff from low level to high level, we believe everybody in the company is essential and without them we are unable to perform our normal duties. Chairman of Live Insurance Corporation Limited Peter Pokawin says good accommodation is a need for employees in PNG and Life Insurance Corporation Limited has set a good example. When coming up with the decision to build this housing, uh, staff housing, the directors and management took into consider consideration that the housing cost is predominantly a contagious topic of discussion among employees, employees here in the national capital and in fact throughout PNG where employees try to make ends meet with a limited income in their pockets, whilst the employers perform their responsibility to add value to its shareholders' investments. In Port Mosby, we can all relate to cases where owning a house is outside the reach of the majority of the workforce, due firstly to the unavailability of land within the city, and secondly, the issue of affordability. North Wagani United Church is one of the Debs village beneficiaries. Raka Taviri Jr., who is the chairman for the church, acknowledged NTI for allowing the church to be part of the beneficiary. The staff of NTI has also shown gratitude for the accommodation. Jacqueline Yala, NBC National News, Port Mosby.